Thank you, Brett. It's 547. Good morning on your Tuesday if you're just waking up. Thanks for tuning in to News 5 today. We are under a weather alert, so I want to walk you through that a bit, Alan. Yeah, it's going to be a really busy stretch of days. Yesterday, we sort of started the busy weather with our gusty winds, and today, wind speeds are just going to take off. They're really going to start to pick up by around 10 or 11 a.m. We have a red flag warning in effect starting at 11 a.m., a high wind warning for Pueblo County, the Arkansas River Valley, and southeastern plains beginning at 10 o'clock this morning. And most areas are going to be impacted in one way or another by the high winds or the high fire danger threats and we're talking about gusts around 40 to 60 miles per hour today and humidity that will fall down into the teens at times. It's a large area of low pressure impacting not only the Great Basin, Colorado, the Four Corners region, but also some of these impacts extending as far north as southern parts of Canada. So the system is wide reaching and it's bringing rain, snow and strong wind to all areas impacted or influenced by that low pressure system. And this morning, starting out with wind gusts that are already up around 40 miles per hour in Woodland Park. We've seen some rain showers this morning, gust around 45 in Trinidad, 36 in La Vida. Because of the wind, it's a fairly mild start to your Tuesday here. The final Tuesday of October, you can see temperatures ranging from the 40s in Woodland Park to the 60s down into the southern I-25 corridor. So I think the winds really start to crank after about 10, 11 a.m. By noon, Look for areas in brown. Those would be some of the stronger gusts that we'll see today. And I think it's mostly going to be the Eastern Plains, Southern I-25 corridor, the mountains, parts of the Pikes Peak region. Those areas will see some of those peak gusts up above 50, even approaching 60 miles per hour. Now tonight after sunset, the winds will die down. We'll get a cold front that moves in tomorrow with some breezy north winds in the morning hours, but nothing like what we're expecting to see out there today. Area of low pressure we just talked about driving the weather for Colorado over the next 24 to 48 hours. Strong wind and fire danger today with Wednesday and Thursday bringing in some colder and unsettled conditions. Now there's two waves of moisture we're watching. One is generally bringing all that snow to the mountains earlier today. And again, can't rule out some occasional showers as far east as Teller or Fremont counties through early this afternoon. Then we get a bit of a break in all areas until late tonight and tomorrow morning. And with that cold front, that's going to be our next best chance here locally for I-25 and parts of the plains that we could squeeze out some rain and or snow showers. And much like what we've been seeing all along, not expected to be a significant rain or snow maker. This is the latest snowfall map I just built. You can see most of the amounts are going to be out into the mountain areas where you see the pink and purple shaded, but even for Woodland Park could see maybe one to three inches from the storm and a trace to two up towards Monument in the Tri Lakes area. Highs today ranging from the 50s in the mountain valleys to the 80s on the eastern plains. Take a look at Wednesday, 45 degrees of the light wintry mix. And then on Halloween, we're clear and we're crisp. And for that trick or treat forecast, a layer either underneath or on top of the costume, a good idea for those late night trick or treaters. For Pueblo, we go from the 70s today to the 50s on Wednesday and Thursday. Rebounding comfortably to the 70s Friday to Saturday. Canyon City, it's a midweek plunge in temperatures. The few light showers. Wednesday, Halloween looks sunny with a high in the upper 50s. And for Woodland Park, very windy today with light snow following Wednesday and the potential for some more active weather, another round of snow into early next week.